Philippines has formally filed a protest over China's use of flares over in Scarborough Shoal. So what's next and how is the Air Force preparing its case, rather in case Beijing does it again? Marion Enriquez has that story. This footage from Reuters and viral press captured the moment when flares started dropping. As seen from the cockpits of the Philippine Air Force aircraft, you can also see brief bursts of light from the multi-role fighter jet of China. This happened on August 8, while the Philippine Air Force's NC-2121I plane was conducting maritime patrol over Bajo de Masinloc or Scarborough Shoal. Two unspecified People's Liberation Army aircraft fired the flares a few times. Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo confirmed that they have already filed a diplomatic protest with China. The DFA says it was very clear about its condemnation of the incident. The Philippine Air Force uh, jet or uh, plane posed no threat to the, uh, to the uh, PLA Air Force. And therefore, uh, these were lawful flight operations and they, uh, they did not violate any sovereignty or jurisdiction that are within our rights, and they entered over, over our airspace. So uh, they were undertaken over our airspace. And those were the, um, the main points we stressed to, to China in the... But the Southern Theater Command of the People's Liberation Army is adamant that their actions were justified and that Scarborough Show is Chinese territory. It insisted that the Philippine Air Force aircraft had illegally intruded into their airspace and that it interfered with Beijing's regular training activities despite repeated warnings. The Chinese military went on to say that they had to deploy maritime and aerial forces to identify, verify, track, monitor, warn and drive the intruding aircraft away in accordance with law. For Beijing, the operation was conducted professionally and within legal standards. But analysts say what China did was harassment. And that the flares were the airspace equivalent of the water cannons they've used on Filipino vessels multiple times. Uh, imagine if by accident someone dies there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that would um, uh, cause for any eventuality which we are trying to resist um, in the maritime domains. Mm -hmm. So this gives now this gives now the Philippines a double-edged mm. sword when it comes to its uh, sovereignty and uh, national security. Yeah. Because uh, we've been focusing on maritime security, we have forgotten about the air and space. Cabalza also noted that this is the first time that the Philippines is fighting for its freedom of overflight from the usual freedom of navigation with China. As for the AFP, it vowed not to back down from China's aggression. The Philippine military says our pilots are trained well enough to counter attacks in the sky. But our air assets are a different story. At the moment, the Philippine Air Force only has 12 FA-50 light attack aircraft in its inventory, all from South Korea. This is why the armed forces is now pushing to acquire air assets faster, particularly modern multi-role fighter jets, the same make and model China used to drop flares on August 8. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.